Hey guys, I'm Parcel here, bringing you guys a new uh, guide, which will be for uh, the World of Warcraft uh, mining guide. This will be part one of many to come, and starting off with a chart showing what level you need to be to mine things. Uh, starting off is going up to 450, which is the rich obsidian deposit. And here, uh, thanks to the new uh, Cataclysm update, it goes from 450 to, two, to 525 now, so you can mine more, make more money, and get rich. Starting off, I'm just going to show you what is very key. You're going to want to click on this uh, uh, magnifying glass, hit Find Materials, which allows the copper or whatever you're mining to appear on your mini map. So here's some little basic uh, movement guides for uh, copper and tin, I think it is. So uh, this will be your 1 to 65 guide. After that, you will want to smelt bronze or mine bronze and then I think it's bronze and then you'll like move on to tin a bit more like tin will get you to iron I think it is so or silver the silver will get you to iron and it's just gonna be a completely odd guide until I show you the whole thing so this is just the beginning math I'm going right on through that because it's nothing too interesting if you see where you are at like right there was iron forge if you're there just pause the video, uh, go full screen, bring open your world, and just follow out your mini map if you have to. Or bring open your big map. So here I'm just going to show it again. Even though I showed it once, I'm just too lazy to take it out. Click on the magnifying glass, hit find materials. Or mo minerals, Jesus. Not materials, minerals. So here is uh, my experience with uh, going around the one that's beneath Orgrimmar. As you can see, four copper right at the very beginning. Start enough. This one here seems to be a promising place. Uh, easily you can get a couple stacks of uh, copper with this one route, making you, I would guess, anywhere between 40 to 60 gold from this one route, which is really good. That's from my experience of it so far. Um, after, uh, you're going to want to mine copper and tin for a bit. Then you're going to want to pretty much move on to iron. Iron is the more common uh, one that you'll take the longest for me because for now I'm like level 200 and I've been mining iron for about 75 levels so yeah I like mining iron it makes money but still copper I think it sells it more in, in Exodor today so not much you can do about it but just mine copper I love it you know it's something to do Maple Story basically the way to make money is just buy an X here you can do professions and everything I love World of Warcraft it's awesome and uh, yeah, just going around, just use my fly mount. Just keep an eye on the mini map if you have to. Like, just look at all the little gold balls appearing on my mini map, which resembles ores or veins of ores. Which means basically all those you see will give you money. The more gold you have, the better. Shoot it to Duracell for uh, basically coming online and beating my guild. So. Right here, I'm just following the, the little hook. I didn't realize it, but it's uh, some things you can't skip if you don't like it. Like, uh, you didn't need to do the up and do the loop if you just wanted to cut to the loop, which I think I would do from now on. But anyway, guys, this is part one of two. I'll say goodbye and uh, keep mining.